Since the beginning of time, human beings have yearned to harness the energy of the universe in the palm of our hands. While it's easier said than done, you've got to admit that we've made some pretty decent progress. Just a few thousand years ago, our forefathers were wielding fire on primitive sticks during the Stone Age. Fast forward to today, and you're probably watching this video on a phone or laptop right now that's relying on battery power. Isn't that amazing? Yes, batteries are the energy of the future. Everything from your laptop, phone, and even that Tesla EV sitting in your garage right now relies on battery power. The major problem with batteries is that they don't last very long. But all this could soon change, as scientists have now created a new nuclear diamond battery that has the potential to last for thousands of years. This unique battery could solve our nuclear and carbon waste crisis as well as promote clean energy. But just how does it work? What advantages will it bring? And is it really capable of lasting for thousands of years? Today, the most popular battery for a wide range of applications is the lithium-ion battery. It doesn't matter whether you're on your phone or on your laptop, you're probably using one to watch this video. Yet, despite its diverse application, lithium-ion batteries have several limitations that are simply not sustainable in the long run. For example, lithium-ion cells are not as tough or as resilient as other rechargeable technologies on the market. They require plenty of protection from sudden discharging or overcharging due to factors like temperature change. This means that they always have to have have their current maintained at desirable operating limits. The issue of adding safety measures also brings another problem of its own because it increases the weight and cost of the battery. It also makes battery disposal quite cumbersome and difficult. Then of course we have the Achilles heel of all lithium-ion batteries. They age pretty fast. On average, lithium-ion batteries can withstand only 500 to 1000 charge-discharge cycles before they deteriorate completely. And despite recent advancements in lithium-ion technology to handle such issues, the technology isn't being being rolled out fast enough to meet the rising demands of the budding tech industry. When all is said and done, lithium-ion technology simply slows down the aging process by a small margin. It doesn't prevent lithium-ion batteries from aging, whether they're in use or not. Any lithium-ion battery that you're using right now will eventually die no matter how conservative you are with it. That's why scientists at NDB, a battery startup in the US, decided to come up with a battery that could last a lifetime. And we're not just talking about your lifetime, perhaps even that of your great grand grandchildren, or maybe even your entire generation to come. You see, NDB has created a new nano diamond battery. It's actually a nuclear diamond battery that uses technology from nuclear waste that is encased in artificial diamond. And according to these scientists, this battery has an impressive lifespan of 28,000 years. This means that if this battery was to go commercial, let's just say that it's going to be harder and harder to make up excuses as to why you're not replying to a text. The concept of a nuclear diamond battery was first presented in 2016 by scientists from the University of Bristol. Led by Professor Tom Scott, the team presented a lecture describing how they had engineered a synthetic diamond to create a small electric current whenever it was placed in a radioactive field. The results were a diamond battery that could self-charge whenever it was close to a radioactive source. In their first presentation of a prototype, the Bristol team used nickel-63 as their radiation source. But later on, they decided to change to carbon-14, which is a nuclear version of carbon. In fact, this is the main reason why this groundbreaking achievement is being marketed as a great option to clean up nuclear waste. There are several aging nuclear power plants around the world that still have large reserves of carbon. Despite carbon-14's classification as a low-yield beta particle emitter, there's still an environmental risk if it gets into the atmosphere. That's why it's usually sealed and tightly stored for the long term. The Bristol team took advantage of this and saw an opportunity to repurpose it into a beneficial nuclear waste material. Last year, the team created a company called Arkenlight, which would be in charge of commercializing the diamond battery technology. Also, utilizing nuclear waste in this manner is a far better option than burying the waste deep underground where expensive measures have to be put in place to avoid contamination. While most people usually cringe from hearing the word radiation and nuclear materials in the same sentence, nuclear diamond batteries have been marketed as not being dangerous in any manner. In fact, the diamond battery is beta voltaic. This simply means that it's almost identical to a photovoltaic solar cell, with the only difference being that it converts beta radiation into electricity instead of light. The battery is manufactured through a process known as chemical vapor deposition. This process involves using C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to grow diamond films at high temperatures. Once grown, these diamond films are manufactured into thin layers consisting of large crystalline grains. This multi-layer structure is also designed to minimize radiation leakages and prevent dangerous effects 
to human health. That's because while carbon-14 beta particles are extremely dangerous, they don't propagate very far. So once the nuclear waste is safely enclosed in a dense matrix like diamond, there's an almost impossible chance that it would be able to penetrate the human skin. Despite working together, Arc and Light and NDB are looking to concentrate on different applications in the industry. NDB is looking to focus on heavy-duty applications like electric vehicles, while Arc and Light is looking to focus on smaller digital devices like medical implants, wireless sensors, and powering small detectors. Both companies are uber positive about the nuclear diamond battery and refer to it as an enabling technology. This means that it'll soon spur the development of other innovative applications that would have been deemed impossible without it. In fact, the Bristol team has so much confidence in their batteries that they've even tested their durability and strength at the peak of a volcano. In this mind-blowing experiment, prototypes of the Arc and Light Beta Voltaic were used to power sensors installed inside a remote monitoring station known as a dragon egg. These durable eggs were designed specifically to be delivered into an active volcano using a drone. The drones then monitor the vibrations, the humidity, as well as the emissions of toxic gases. As expected, the eggs continue to deliver readings to the drones. The somewhat indestructible nature of the diamonds also means that these batteries could one day be used in power distribution and management of spacecrafts and satellites in the near future. Can you imagine their application in extreme space environments away from Earth? Maybe these are the batteries that could see Musk's future plans for Mars exploration and conquest become a reality. Take for example the James Webb Space Telescope. With the current fuel that it has on board, it's believed to have at least two more decades available for space observation and space travel. Now, if it had had a series of nuclear diamond batteries in place, the telescope would continue delivering high-resolution pictures of the universe for the next 20,000 years. But let's bring it closer to home, shall we? Arc and Light's batteries could potentially create a desirable fit-and-forget system that can be applied to a wide number of IoT devices. This technology would further help in cutting back emissions because it would greatly minimize the use of carbon by up to 2.5 kilograms for every AAA battery manufactured. Currently, Arc and Light is making huge plans to establish a factory in one of the multiple decommissioned nuclear power plants in southwest England. This will enable them to have access to several carbon-14 isotopes for battery manufacturing. In fact, the CEO of Arc and Light, Morgan Boardman, is confident that we could begin seeing carbon-14 batteries appearing in our devices as early as 2024. Speaking of 2024, what advantages will these commercialized nuclear diamond batteries have over the current lithium-ion batteries that we use today? For starters, transporting them will be seamless. You see, several airlines usually limit the amount of lithium-ion batteries they can carry. This often leaves most of them transported as cargo by ships. And that's because any lithium-ion batteries that are not transported as carry-on have to be protected from short-circuiting using protective covers. This is especially the case for large lithium-ion batteries used in power banks. And let's not forget the issue of cost in industries like EVs. If you've been following up on Tesla and Elon Musk for a while now, then you know that the biggest headache Musk faces is the mass production of durable batteries for his vehicles. In fact, did you know that one-third of the selling price of almost every EV actually falls on the manufacturing and assembly of the lithium-ion battery pack? That's why your average EV might cost right around the same price as a luxury fuel vehicle. It's also highly advisable never to fully charge or discharge the lithium-ion cells of your EV's battery. The optimum running state for cells and batteries is between 20 to 80 percent. There are even some EV companies that ensure the cells never fully charge and discharge and simply indicate empty or full before the threshold. The main reason behind this is that in either state, lithium ions will be removed from one electrode to the other, causing the electrodes to disintegrate faster. Lithium ion batteries also perform poorly in the cold and snow. This greatly reduces the driving range for every degree dropped. And these are the reasons why the nuclear diamond battery might just be the answer to Elon Musk's battery issue. The nuclear diamond battery could also be the solution to the EV dilemma as a whole, spacefaring, and further minimizing carbon emissions at large. But we'll let you be the judge of that. In fact, let us know what you think about the nuclear diamond battery in the comments section down below. And until next time, welcome to the future.